of knowledge. Hey, brother, you destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. Right? And the moment you begin to stand up like a god, like the king you're supposed to be, maybe that sister that's unmarried would look at you that way. Right? But while you sitting out here scoffing the men of the Lord in the last days, brother, she, you, you're not appealing right now. All right? I'm being truthful to you, brother, and that's love. Allow me to speak. I already did. Your time is over. You don't believe in the Bible. You don't believe what we're doing. We don't got time for it, right? That's right. We, because thou has rejected knowledge. Because the brother rejected knowledge, the sister's going to reject his information. <laughs> See that? God, God is rejecting you and that sister's rejecting you. She's not even listening to what you're saying. Going in one ear and out the other, brother. Is that women adorn themselves in what? In modest apparel. Is that modest apparel, then, sister? Are you are you in modest apparel? Um, I'm not showing my butt, but please, I would say so. That's what you think? Uh -oh. All right, so look, watch. Go ahead, keep going. Yeah, let the swords come out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let them come out. What you going to? All right, you, gonna, you got you got the Deuteronomy 22 and 5. All right, go ahead, get that real quick. Go ahead. Let me get Zephaniah 1 and 8. Hold on, sisters. Wait, real quick. This is for y'all, okay? We're going to bust it down real quick. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman, the who? The woman, the, who? the woman, the who? shall not wear, shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. That which belong to men. Pants belong to men. That's right. Pants belong to men, sister. Go ahead, absolutely. Oh. You said what? Back in those days, Uh-huh. That's what you think? Let me ask you a question. Well, I know. Can I ask you a question, sister? What is what is britches? Sister, hold on, wait, wait. What is what is britches? What is britches? Right? Hey, hey, look, back in hey, back in, in your grandfather's time, right? He said, baby, go get my britches for me so I can go to work. Huh? All right, so if I show you in the Bible that the priest was ordered to have linen britches on, how are you going to respond to it then? Uh -oh. oh, got him! Uh -oh. Got him! Uh -oh. We're just teaching. Got him! Hey, we're just speaking truth, sisters. So if I, if, I, if I show you, right, because you stopped me from understanding this, go back to Deuteronomy 22 and 5 real quick. Somebody grab me that scripture of the priest wearing linen britches real quick. All right? This is the book of, uh, the book of Deuteronomy, Listen up, chapter sister. 22, verse 5. Uh -huh. the, woman, the, who? the woman, the woman, shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So that which belongeth unto a man. Brother, hold your peace, okay? If you got time, you want to say something that's important, hold your peace. Okay? Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So sister, if I had on a dress right now, right? How would you look at me? It's effeminate. Thank you. What you got, brother? Read it. This is the book of Exodus, Go ahead. chapter 28, verse 42. Read it out. And thou shalt make them linen britches. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Sister, do you, do you hear the voice of the Lord in the last days? Read it again. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 28. Verse 42, and thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness. To cover their what? Their nakedness. That's all we're saying, sister. The priest men had on linen. Hey, brother with the vest on, where you going? Come here, brother. Nah, I don't need you talking to the... Everybody got something slick about them out here, baby. Hey, come deal with me right here. Why everybody want to whisper in the women's ears? All right, all right, brother, that's cool, but still, I'm dealing with them right now, brother, and you came up here with a question, so hold your peace. Oh, you got a statement. No, I just want to say this. My statement all right, is... Hold, all right, hold on. Let me, let, me get, let me get that Zephaniah 1 and 8 for the sister. 
This is why we're saying what we're saying, sister, okay? Right? Read it. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. Oh, and they, it shall come they, to pass. Hey, sister, when it says that it shall come to pass, that means that it's about that it's going to happen. This is some truth that's about to happen right here. Read. It said, and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. In the day of the Lord's judgments. Read. That I will punish. That I will do what? That I will punish. Now I'm gonna walk hand in hand with my sisters that want to dress in their models of power. That I will punish. That I will punish. Go ahead. The princes uh -huh. and the king's children. That are doing what? And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Hey sisters, that strange apparel that y'all got on right now for the That's world, of, for the eyes of the Lord. Okay, right? Anytime, I understand what you. Hey brother, brother, come on, brother. What you mean? Not what one, brother? Which one of them is not dressed immodestly, brother? She can wear what she want to wear. And that's what the devil say. You say see that? that? The Bible. He want to see that. Right? He want to see you like that so he can whisper in your ears, tell you all types of sweet nothings, right? And not be a man and save you on that day. Right? That's how our people is, man. Yeah. Slithering snakes, man. Yeah. Everybody got crafty the counsel about them. Right. Right? They ain't running we away. We ain't teaching the truth for the Bible on the last day, but everybody won't whisper in the sister's ears. Go ahead. Go ahead, absolutely. I, I, I love dressing. Usually, I'm, I'm in a dress or, you know, I like to be covered. I'm married, by the way. Okay, I'll pray. And oh, my husband yeah. is a um, Hebrew, Israelite, Jewish person. Oh, He's like you guys. It's like us. Oh, hold on, say that. Um, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Say that one more time. Your husband's a what? <laughs> Hebrew. Hebrew and he Hey, sister, what you looking at right here? What are we? We're Judah. We're Israel. All right, all right. So what do you see here? Israelites, right? Is your husband telling you how to dress? Yes. So why you got on pants right now? What organization is he with? Okay, I'll pay this. Hey, sister, hey, you know what? Hey, we, we appreciate y'all's uh, honesty, and we appreciate y'all's, you know, even even the dialogue right here, right? Right? Y'all y'all stepped up, y'all was y'all standoffish at first, but y'all y'all listening now, and, and, and listen, this is all we come out here for in the last days, right? All right? I'll pay this. So y'all y'all see no harm on me, right? I just want our people to be right. You see that? All right. That's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. All praises, man. All praises to the Most High and your higher shot. That's right, sister. All right. Okay. All right. All right. That's beautiful, right there. Right. And you see that right there? Y'all got to get y'all some fringes too. Y'all understand that, Lord? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep praying for y'all. What's y'all's names? Ruby and Shana. Okay. We're going to put your prayers up, okay? okay. So y'all can get right, all right? Make, I'll pray to the most high, okay? Haste. Huh? Make haste. We're going to, yeah, you got to make haste on these days now. Y'all got to hurry up. Right, where you going? Yeah, right there, all praises. Bring the questions. Usually you are. Today. Let me ask you a question. What about the Sabbath? Um, what God's rest today? Yeah. Every day is a whole, every day is a Hey, Saturday. brother, see, come on, hey, brother, brother. <laughs> come on, brother, what's up with you, man? I understand, hey, brother, but we teaching, brother. We we're teaching, brother, it's okay, I understand. You got the zeal on you, brother? You want to teach? Do you want to teach? If you want to teach, brother, we're going to put, I'll give you my shirt. I am a, I am a. You want my shirt, brother? I, I, I am a listener, I'm a learner, I'm not a teacher. I'd rather learn. Well, brother, if you if that's what you're saying and you perfect, you should be listening. So far, you've been trying to you've been trying to speak. If you're listening, you learn by listening, brother. So far, you've been trying to speak. All right, you've been cutting me off, interrupting what I'm telling the sisters to get right. All right, all praises, brother. So let us. So the, not that one. What? Not what one, brother? Never mind. Go ahead. So you only care for one of them? Oh. 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 I'm, hey, brother, you said it. I'm reading between the lines of what you're saying. I care about both of them. So why do you only care about one of them? Man, you on the spot hard, brother. They gonna want to know. You said you know him? You said you know him, brother. You see the truth coming out now. I got it. 
All right, brother, okay. Well, he only care about one of y'all. I care about both of y'all. All right, today's the Sabbath day. All right, sisters? Today is the day for you to rest in the Lord. All right? That's what it's talking about. It's talking about resting in the Lord, not being out here in the midst of these nations, doing whatever it is that you want to do. Right? I'm just saying, even 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 if you you know you just out here on your leisure time and you're buying things, right? You're in the midst of these nations, right? They're gonna throw you off from the spirit of the Lord. So you should be in the home, right, studying the Bible today. That should be your life. Alright? So if you understand, Friday, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, tonight when the sun goes down, it's gonna close out on the Sabbath, right? So that's what y'all sisters gotta come back for on the last days, alright? All right. So what about you said you understand the law on the fringes, right? And your husband is working on that for you. All right. Hey, look on that call right there. We got information. If your husband or if y'all need any further assistance with looking righteous in the last days, right? Somebody, let me get Isaiah uh, fifty-two and one real quick. All right. My brother, my brother. I love my brother. I love you, brother. <laughs> I love you, brother. I just want to let you know. Isaiah 52 and 1. Read. This is the book of Isaiah. <laughs> chapter 52, Another verse serpent. 1. Go ahead. Awake. All uh, right. What did he say? Awake. The Lord said, awake, sisters. Right now, your eyes got big just now, right? The Lord said, awake. To what? Awake. Put on thy strength. On Zion. Huh? Put on thy beautiful garment. Do what? Put on thy beautiful garments. Hey, you got to put on your beautiful garments in the last days, sisters. All right? This is what separates us from these other nations right here, right? When we come back and start to wear what the Lord told us to put on our vessels, right? He put these, he put the spirit in these vessels for us to walk righteously in this earth. And this garment is a part of it. All right? Because this is what separates us from these nations, right? Okay, sisters? All right. All praises, man. I hope to see y'all next time. Yeah, the brother just told me. He said he saw y'all before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe two weeks ago. Okay. Okay. All praise. All right. It's always hard for growth, Lord, but like listening. Yeah. So y'all go to church? Yes. Is the Lord in that church? Yes. Is he dwelling in that temple? Nope. Uh -oh. uh, but I asked you about that church building. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Lord is dwelling in that temple? You know what I want. Oh, bring it out. <laughs> Acts 748. This is the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 48. Listen at, hold on. All right, listen at this, sister. Wait. How be it? How be it? The most high dwelling. Not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. The Lord ain't dwelling in these temples made with hands. Sister, you was absolutely correct. Yeah. You said the Lord is in your temple. Thank right you. now, when two or more are gathered, here he is in the midst. We are in the temple of God right now, okay? Right. right? This is the true church that you see right now. Not this building right here that got all our people sleeping on the stairs. Why are they not in the church? That's right. <laughs> right. Why are they not in the church? Why are people got to sleep on the stairs? Why are they not opening up the doors for the people? Right? Are the people, are, are any people paying for this church? Taxes, right? <laughs> All types of stuff. Yo, tithes and offerings. Why are they not opening up the doors so the homeless people could go in and be safe and not be cold? Ask yourself these questions in the last days. Bring it, bring it out, brother. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Huh? Remember the Sabbath day. Do what? Remember the Sabbath day. The Lord wants you to remember the Sabbath day because he knew our people would forget it. Yeah. Right? Read. To keep it holy. To do what? Keep it holy. Go ahead. Six days shall thou labor huh? and do all thy work. So the Lord gave you six days to do all the things that you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. We holy seven days out of the week, sister. That's right. You understand that? Hey, to the best of our ability, how about that? Right? Because when I got to go out here and deal with these nations, I become unholy. Okay? I become ready to do something to somebody, all right? 
even our own people. You understand that? So I'm trying my best, sister. All right. So, so you right though. We're supposed to be holy seven days a week. Oh, See that oh, righteous oh, indignation. I like that. That's powerful right there. Right. So, sister, let me ask you a question. Do you understand what holy means? Yes, to be set apart. All right. So, so, so the Lord. So look at this. The Lord chose this day to be separate from the other six days. You see that? That's what. That's what you said. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, come. So, so that's so that's what the Lord gave to you, sister, right? He said, he said the other days, right? I understand you got to work, right? I understand my people gonna be in captivity, right? But He said, no matter where you are and all your dwellings, keep my Sabbath day holy. Remember it because they gonna change it, right? You see this devil right here? That's who changed your days, right? The filthy beast right here, that damn Constantine. That's who gave you Sunday worship, right? That's who opens up these doors tomorrow for these people to go into, right? All right. So, brother, you had a lot. You had a lot. You was you was going on, brother. What you wanted to say? I did. What did I explain? Oh, tell me. I want to make sure. Church and stuff like that, we worship in the white Jesus and we walk down the walls and walk everybody worships in the white Jesus and stuff like that. I wanna take it to you. Sorry, brother. Go ahead. But uh like the way we worship, that's that's not our religion. That's that's not what we came from. Like when you walk inside of the church, ask everybody in this world what type of Jesus you see. Right now. You see that, right? You see, you know who that is? You tell me, brother, who is it? Okay. All right. Okay. That, that's All right. You teaching us something now? Come on. Go ahead. Come here. Come here, brother. Come on. Yeah. 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 That's who that is. All right. All right, bro. Okay. Go ahead. It's Caesar boys. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So, 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 what does your Jesus look like? What you got there? Go ahead, bring it up. Hey, hold on real quick. The brother got something he want to read for the who? Sisters? Yeah. All right, go ahead, bring that out. Sister, this is the book of Babylon. From Babylon to Timbuktu. On page 49, it says, Mohammed changed the Jewish Sabbath from Saturday to Friday. Mm -hmm. And in the fourth century, the church changed the Sabbath to Sunday. You see that? So what the brother's going into, right, was Muhammad, right, was practiced the Islamic faith, right, and traditions that the elder was asking about earlier, right? So he changed it to Friday, but this guy changed it to Sunday, right? So the Lord told you what day to keep it holy, though, right, which was today. So you got to come back to keep this day holy, right, and not be mixed and mingled with all of these people out here that ain't keeping it holy. See that? That's, that's, Brother, you're missing the point, brother. Yeah, brother. Yeah, there you go again, brother. I don't know what you got going on. Yeah, too much to kill Damn, brother. All right, but brother, brother, listen. The Lord chose this day, the Sabbath, to be holy. Not every other day. Why is that? Because he understood we was going to have to work one day in these conditions that we would go into, right? Those are, that's what happened when we fell as a nation, brother. Right? We were supposed to rule over the earth. Do you understand that? Huh? What's your name? Let me ask you, what's your nationality, brother? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Here we go. We get it. All right, so how about this, right? Explain to our sisters how your nationality is a human. Have, uh, Since you got eyes for one of them. <laughs> you got 23 chromosomes. Oh, boy. I ain't ask you that, brother. I'm asking <laughs> your nationality, brother. It don't matter about how many chromosomes you got in your body. What is your nationality, brother? I'm from Earth. Oh, my God. Man. Nationality. It makes it smell. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Welcome. I was born in Jamaica. 
<laughs> All right then, brother. So Jamaica, right? Hey, brother, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, brother, come here, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, hey brother, come here. Hey, brother, real quick, can you come here? Hey, look over here real quick at this sign right here, brother. All right? Let me ask you a question. What is What does Jamaica mean? That's where you from? I don't know the meaning of Jamaica. Means a land of wood and water. What's your true origin, brother? John Hody Hawkins Jr. The reason why hats black people inside of Jamaica, John Hody, John Hody Hawkins Jr. got that's not true. John Hody Hawkins Jr. made a slave trade. They took the slaves uh -huh. from Southern Africa first uh -huh. and brought them to the island. Okay. Trinidad, Jamaica. Uh -huh. All right. So that was, that was something called trading post. My brother, I ain't asked you that. All right. I asked you what is your nationality, and I asked you when well, you saying you're from I, Jamaica, I, brother. I, I, I African, but where I am so from. So brother, how are you Jamaican and African? Nationality. You see how we confused? No, I said where you, I'm you, from. What's one of these sisters you like? We're gonna put you on the spot for real. Well, that's just that's just said no. That's just said no. <laughs> that's just, that's just, no. <laughs> I, I am I am super intelligent. All right, brother. Hey, 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 brother. Look, I love you, brother. You're an Israelite, all right. And you got to keep the commandments in the faith of Christ, brother. You understand that? You believe in the Bible, brother? Brother, you believe in the Bible? You don't? All right. Well, see that? You, you see? You see that right there? That's now the truth comes out, right? But yeah, you whispering in the sister's ear trying to tell her when the Sabbath is. Whatever you, I never said that. you see that? Yes, you did, brother. You see that? You become a liar right in the front of the sister that you say you like. That's a shame. Hosea 4 6, one more time. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Hey, brother, you destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. Right? And the moment you begin to stand up, like a god, like the king you're supposed to be, maybe that sister that's unmarried would look at you that way. Right? But why are you sitting out here scoffing the men of the Lord in the last days, brother? She, you, you're not appealing right now. All right? I'm being truthful to you, brother, and that's love. Don't allow me to speak. I already did. Your time is over. You don't believe in the Bible. You don't believe what we're doing. We don't got time for it, right? That's right. We... Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because the brother rejected knowledge, the sister's going to reject his information. <laughs> See that? God, um, God is rejecting you and that sister's rejecting you. She haven't listened to what you're saying. Going in one ear and out the other, brother. We? I will also reject thee. The Lord is going to reject you. Just like that, that sister right there is going to reject you too, brother. All right? So let's get back into the word we was into. Let me get Matthew 6 and 31. Right? Let me get Mark 1 and 15. In Egypt, have you ever heard of a Bible? Oh, you never about Africa. That's why I'm getting mad. You never talk about Africa. Like All right, brother. All right. Hey, well, look. If, if this if this is garbage. Oh, okay. There you go. Right? You see the blasphemy coming out now? You see that? You see that? Why should I? Exactly. Right, let me go. Hold on. Let me get. Where from? Don't go hey, to that book. Hey, 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 brother, go to you gonna calm your spirit down and deal with me like a man, brother? I, all that tough talk mean nothing to me. I'm not so if you want to deal, let's deal like tough. men. I'm not trying to all right? be tough. Don't try to show yourself to be, be tough walking away, brother. I am right? not trying to be tough. I am saying your language is 3,500. All right, so your language is 3,500 years old to this day. So how can you say God? Who my eyes to buy? That's where it came from. Okay. How can you say God? Uh -huh. So, so at the end of the the English language is 3,500 years old. So, before that, hey, the people are rejecting you on this camera, no, and that sister's rejecting you right I now. They care. believe in the Bible, man. And as Lord said, how can two walk together unless they be agreed? You ain't gonna be able to walk with that sister, man. All right. Yeah, sit down then. Hey, well, look, brother. Well, I don't, I don't gotta deal with you, brother. You don't believe in the Bible. You don't believe in my creator. I don't got to listen to you. So take a walk. Take a walk. Forget about your seventh dynasty. You wasn't there. You ain't from Egypt. Are you an Egyptian? 
Are you an Egyptian? No, I'm talking about language. All right. I don't care about the linguistics or your language. What about being from Brooklyn? What about it? There you go. Two Brooklynites going at it now. Let me speak to Israelites while the Brooklynites go at it. All right? Read what I had you hold on. Six and yeah, Matthew six and thirty one. Matthew six and thirty one. I lost. Read Revelation three fourteen. Three fourteen. That's science, dog. That's science, dog. Where's the when you need it? This is the book. What is six and six and thirty one? Oh, thirty one. This is the book of Saint Matthew. Hey, look, Chapter six. And hey, hey, right now we go into the kingdom of God. I don't care what you're talking about because you don't believe in the kingdom of God. You, the that, look, of God is there you go. You see, yeah, yeah. Look, the sisters the gotta vibration. walk away from you now, man. Damn, you got spirits on you, brother. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I know. This is a book of Saint Matthew, I'm, I'm, I'm chapter come, I'm, six. I'm come, hey, look, I'm gonna come from my heart. I'm gonna come from my heart right now. How the hell you let some white people come over here and say, wow. yo, this is the book. Therefore, we take no thought, saying, what shall we eat? And gave you that or what shall we drink? Hey, right, because they you know, hey, bro hey, brother, hold your peace, a man. White, a white person. Who are you came trying here? to teach up here? Who? And the only person, only way you, only thing that you know hey, brother, was the Bible. Go, go, they, if you want to talk to the women, go was, talk to them. They, we no longer they, care about what you're spilling out of your mouth. When they, when they was beating you, the only thing that said you could read was the Bible. Exodus Every slave, when you was a Beautiful. slave, Exodus the only thing that told you to read you was the Bible. Hey, well, look, hey, check it, hey, brother, hey, 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 Brooklyn Knight. Hey, Brooklyn Knight. Tell me where Bible was when... Tell me, hey, brother, tell me a Bible hey, hey, brother, where brother, Jesus brother, came from. Brother, 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 look, look at this right here, right? It is Jesus. If he's speaking facts Jesus. and he's speaking facts, y'all gonna have it's your own conversation called, and speak all the facts y'all want to. It is a Jesus. How about that? Mary. Go it speak your facts, man. White man gave you You're emotional, man. Yeah, about my fucking culture. Yes. You're, you're very emotional, and that's an effeminate spirit. So, so stop. That's an effeminate spirit. That, yo, I, don't, I don't deal with emotion, so you can say you, 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 know, you just said you was emotional. You don't even know what you're saying, brother. You just said you was emotional. Every slave. Hey, brother, calm down, down talk, brother. Hey, brother, calm down. White man. Your book I, came from a white man. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. All right. Why the fuck you know how to read then? <laughs> that's the only fucking book you could have read. That's the only book that's been read in slavery. Hey, read what he gave me. This is book of Exodus, chapter 21, Salaka, chapter 31, verse 18. Hey, 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 and he gave hey, it to hey, Moses. Hey, hey, wait, Whatever wait. Whatever book came from. Hey, hey, wait. Hey, you can't get language in 3,500 hey, so, so years old. If it's a fact, it if it's a fact, y'all gonna take a walk up the street, speak your facts. Thank you. Brooklyn Knight, go ahead. <laughs> I'm talking to Israelites. Read it. And he gave it to Moses. We, we Israelites right here, okay? That's right. Hey, you said what? And hey, you upset too, man. Hey, go back to Brooklyn, brother. <laughs> all right? Since you keep talking about Brooklyn so much, go back, brother. Hey, I don't mean nothing to me. I'm from New York too, brother. None of that mean nothing to me, brother. You feel me? None of that. None of that means nothing to me. One guy. Go ahead. And he gave it to Moses. And my Bible tell me to prove all things, okay? But you can't prove nothing what you're saying. I can prove what I'm saying. You just, you just emotional that the sister don't want you. Just keep walking. Go ahead. And he gave it to Moses when he, he had made an end of communion with him upon Mount Sinai. Two tables of testimony, tables of stone, written with the finger of God. Written with what? The finger of God. Hey, our records was written with the fingers of God. The commandments that was given to Moses was written with the fingers of God. We don't care about your information, man. All right? So whatever information you come with, hey, go teach it on your own corner. Go see how many sisters you can pull with that mess on your own corner. <laughs> all of them, all of them. But well, he by himself. He by himself. He by himself. Talking about all of them. That shit is hilarious. Come on, man. I, hey, look. Only our people. 
It's only in the spirit of our people Yo, this much hatred for one another. You can't make this shit up. Yeah, you do, brother. You got you got hatred for the creator, brother. Right? You got hatred for your maker. You got hatred for the world. All right, read what you got. It's in the book of St. Luke, chapter 11, verse 20. But if I, with the finger of God, uh -huh. cast out devils, uh -huh. no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. Uh-huh. And there you go. If I, with the finger of God, cast out devils with this word, you understand that? You don't understand this word, brother. We come out here to cast out devils out of our people. You trying to put them on people. Right. With that foolishness. How did black people learn about the Bible? Like, she talks, what are you talking about, man? Hey, read it, read it. This is the book hey, be of St. Hey, Matthew. Be quiet. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12, verse 36. But I say unto you that every other word that men, that man, Shall speak. Hey, brother, you've been speaking a lot of idle words hey, up here. here about, listen, listen brother, we. You're about to have an aneurysm. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, uh -huh. they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. You're going to give an account on the day of judgment, brother. That's so right. The idle words that you spoke up here. Bring it you out. Go ahead. There, there you go. Go ahead. Get, yeah, go ahead. Get them all on camera. Go ahead. Uh huh. You can't ask me nothing with that talk. You, I'm no longer answering your questions. You can walk. <laughs> you can walk, man. Yo, this dude is bugging the fuck out. All right, thank you. Go ahead, take a walk. Take the sad walk with the stick with your little belongings on it. Because you look sad right now, like a little baby, man. All right, take your walk, brother. That's it. All right, all praises to the heavenly Father and the heavenly Son for making the devil disappear. Walk us in. All praises. Walk us in. How y'all doing? You believe in the Bible? All day, every day. All day, every day. <laughs> twice on Friday. Why twice on Friday? Exactly. Oh, no, no. Yo, I tried to. It's demon mania, yo. So why you say twice on Friday, bro? <laughs> if you try to keep it. Well, well. Well, well I'm I'm try to. I'm not about progress. <laughs> Thank you for sending me It's about what? Progress, not perfection. Let me get Matthew 548. I tried to tell you. You get Matthew 548. He said it's about what? It's in book of Matthew. Progress, not perfection, is what he said. It's about progress and not perfection. Let's see what Christ said. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 5. What's on your heart, sister? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I see you got spirits on you. No, I always got spirits I know. I didn't say good or bad. I, I, I know, but I asked you what's on your heart. None of your business. I can't check all oh my, my God. God. So that's all. Oh, okay. I'll pray, sister. Have a good day. All right, we love you up here, right? We love you up here, sister. We just want to make sure you're all right. I can see you was itching. Oh, boy. We, 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 we dealing the day. Yeah, we dealing the day. Okay, all praise to the most high. I tell you, that's what we come out here for. Go ahead. This is the book of St. Matthew. Chapter 6, verse 48. Yo, 5 and 48. Out, huh? like it. Yo. Verse 5 and 48. Be ye therefore perfect. Hey, brother, listen up. What did Christ say? Be ye therefore perfect. Be ye therefore perfect, brother. Right? Go ahead. Even as your Father, which is heaven, is in heaven, is perfect. Even as your Father, your Creator, which lies in heaven, is perfect. Are you ready to be perfect? You want to think about it? What's your nationality? Peruvian. You're Peruvian? Yeah. Okay. Peruvian. Huh? Demons are out today. Yeah. And four, four. Oh, man. Six year old up here, and you like, Jesus is this. You want to skip it. Man, this, this brother right here, man, you got spirits on you too. Hey, brother, we asked you to just go take a walk, man. You was up there whispering in them sisters' ears, or whatever they are right there. You, you whispering, you just trying to... Because you're telling me, you telling me a, a language. A language is 3,500 years old. Yeah, bring it up. God gave him something called Guma Azduba. That's the book of 2 John, <laughs> chapter 1, verse 10. Yeah, the devil... And the fool said in his heart, there's no God. Hey, listen, you don't want to believe in the God because you're the devil. I believe.
Bingo! Bingo. Wait, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now you said he believe in God. I never said I didn't. I what God? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. What God you believe in? A God named Un. That if you look it up, the first name of God was and named Un. Believe, and it wasn't you know a you word. Know. It was a word. Um, where, where does Un, where does Un's it origin? It come from Kemet. It okay, there we, there, there, so there we go. So listen. So there we go. I just, hey, look, you see that? I just asked the man, I just asked the brother, was he from Egypt? Why is your guy from Egypt? Oh, hey brother, you don't want that type of work, brother. Trust me. All right. So I gave you the opportunity to take. Hey, look, brother. I gave you the opportunity to take a walk, brother. Ain't nobody gonna walk up on you, brother. Ain't nobody gonna walk up on you. But trust and believe, brother. If you walk up here the wrong way, brother, you are gonna get chastised. Trust me. Yeah, all right. I just did. I just did. Take your emotions up the street. Because you don't want this type of work, brother. Trust me. So where your food at? Where your food at? I do it. Hey, what kind of 40 you got in that bag, man? It's getting, it's getting hot. Hey, go drink that King Cobra, man. Hey, go drink that beer. Have a good day, man. Nah, you finished. You right. You're right, we are brainwashed. Our brain is clean. That's right. What about yours? Your brain is filthy. Your brain is polluted. Y'all go share that beer together. <laughs> go share that beer together. Homo ass comedian. This is the book of 2 John, chapter 1, verse 10. If there come any of you and bring not this doctrine, if there be any of you that bring not this doctrine. We not out here to listen to your foolishness, man. Why right? we're entertaining for a little period of time to see what you're about. But once we discern that foul spirit on you, man, you're finished, okay? There's nothing up here for you. We don't care what you come up here for. We come out here for war. We come out here to die in the last days, man, and to put people to death, all right? So if you want war, war you shall receive, all right? I'm talking.